Okay, we're here then. Happy to have you. Um, I'm sorry, my nose is a little bit red. Um, I, let, I hope you have a very good day today. Let us start this new okay. lesson. We're here then. Happy um, to have you. Oops, um, I gotta close my sorry, app my in the other red. end. I hope you have a very good day today. Let us start this new lesson. Um, oops. I gotta close my app to the other end. Okay, can you hear me now? <laughs> Sorry, I could hear two voices. I heard my echo. I didn't close the other app in myself. Um, good, so great to have you. Um, let me start with... Why am I listening to myself again? I could hear two voices. I heard my echo. I'm going to have to close this. Are you listening to my echo or is this just me? So great to have you. Um, let me start with... There it is. Sold it. Okay, good. Sorry. Oh my goodness. I'm feeling like a DJ here touching a thousand controls. Now I have it. I opened uh, the YouTube in another um, in another window that I didn't notice. Okay, here we are. We can start. Um, so today's lesson, we will continue to do the promotional mix. And we were focusing specifically in one of the elements in the promotional mix, that is um, the public, public relations, um, that are the public relations. Um, in the public relations, we have many tools that we could use. And last week, we were getting involved and into the, these different tools and seeing all the benefits and stuff. Today, I want you to copy this. So let you let yourself be ready. Please go find your marketing notebook, your pen, colors if you want. And today we will continue with what we were doing last, last week. Um, I left you with a, remember the case of the McWhopper? It was a very good case. I just love this. Um, and we had to like run because we didn't finish. But one of the facts that I wanted to specifically share is this last part. Um, the second number that you see there is 138 million of earned media. What is earned media? Earned media in English would be called publicity. And publicity is not the same thing as advertising. Let me repeat it again. Publicity in English is not the same thing as advertising. And that concept is super nerve-wracking for me because you have publicity, publicidad, but they're not the same thing. Publicidad is advertising. Publicity is earned media. Let me explain myself. Um, Earned media is when other medias, TV, radio, or TV shows, programs of any kind, magazines, um, re replicate what you did as a creative idea. Um, I don't know if you remember, but a couple of years ago, there was a sign outside the, this huge hospital of Emergencias Médicas. Do you remember? It was a Christmas tree and there was a catchy phrase there. Do you remember what it was? Hmm. 
You tell me in the chat. Don't say the the bad word. Okay, you remember that. Good. Um, so it was like use hel use a helmet. Blue, 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 blue. Okay. It was like a a Christmas tree with an emoji on top. You can find the case online, maybe if you don't remember. But it it said use the helmet and a bad word so um it's super funny but that simple case of a creative idea was super uh diffused in many many medias they appeared in all the tv channels many radios it even went abroad and was replicated in other countries so that is like the hugest dream come true of a PR agency, okay? PR wants to create free publicity. We shouldn't consider it free as the term free because it's not free to have a very good idea. Do you know what I mean? Um, in the case here of the McWhopper, there was a huge investment in the marketing agency. They did these beautiful videos. Um, there was two pages in the newspaper, but that was it. But what came in return for that huge work was that the 138 million um, considered in free publicity. Do you understand these two concepts? One thing is advertising. This will be translated to publicidad. And then we have publicity that could be translated in Spanish in earn media. It's crazy because in Spanish we usually say earn media in the marketing world. Um, or we could say earn media. We say sí, ganó earn media. Tuvo. Uh, o se difundió. That's another term we would use in Spanish. Um, but there's not a technical word for publicity. But it's free media. Free media is another thing that you receive from doing what you are doing. Um, do you understand this? Please say yes and just. Uh, answer there so I know that we're on the same page okay uh, good so what I want to show you now is another case it happened in Argentina and this is something that could be uh, understood well too it's, um, well, I'm not going to give the introduction. I'm just going to show it to you. Uh, this is it. ¿Tenés un billete de estos en la billetera o guardado en algún lugar? Bueno, anda despidiéndote porque el billete de dos pesos... Hoy tiene los días contados. ¿Viste cómo están? En este están... estado quedan pocos porque... El 27 de abril de 2018, los billetes de dos pesos iban a salir de circulación. Y muy pocos se tomarían el trabajo de ir al banco a cambiarlos. Por eso, decidimos rescatarlos. Haciendo Lío, una nueva ONG que lucha por la educación, presenta Todos por Dos Pesos, la última gran obra de un prócer que se va. Mira lo que puedes hacer con tu billete. Entregárselo a la Fundación Haciendo Lío. Un billete de dos pesos para una causa benéfica. Dos pesos dos, dos pesos el otro. El fin del billete de dos es inicio de esta cadena virtuosa. Los voluntarios están también en supermercados y en haciendolío.org. No va a valer más. Por eso, guarda esta nostálgica. A algunos les queda un mes de vida. Hay otros, como este, por ejemplo, que no llegan. Y a partir de mayo de 2018, no servirá más. Con la ayuda de reconocidos artistas, demostramos que todos los billetes podían tener un gran valor. Rápidamente, importantes personalidades se sumaron a la tendencia de intervenir los billetes para hacer crecer la campaña. En poco tiempo, logramos mucho. Una suma que iba a desaparecer, pero pudimos rescatar. Y que aún será mayor al subastar estos billetes que no valían nada y que fueron transformados en codiciadas obras de arte. Así, convertimos la devaluación de un país en una oportunidad única para los más necesitados. Ok, 
Okay. So you see, did you see how much they gain in free media, in earned media? A huge amount of money. Uh, that is the evaluation they have. And in this case, I think it was very good done to the to a NGO, but it was a very good creative idea behind this um, huge campaign that was diffused and diffused and diffused through many, many means. Um, and that is like our dream come true for any agency, but specifically to the PR agencies because they work in content. Um, and content that they have to pay for and they're really as you remember the tools that we discussed about last week they are always related to the press so they know how much you are paying for something but when you do something that is super creative out of the ordinary and you have the media talking about it without you paying that's like glorious okay um so what i want you to do is copy this it will we will have to do it super fast because um, I have to present you the case that we're going to work in next week in the next class we have. And it's super exciting. Uh, so here it is. Um, did you, you copy this already? No, yes, we did this. This interaction and now define the following terms. I want you to put today's date and just um, PR tools will be the topic and define the following terms. I'm going to do it with you so you don't say, ah, teacher, you're going too fast, like you normally do in class. Hmm. I don't see Mr. Giacometti, for example, here. I think he, well, today's Friday. Um, but it would be super useful for him to listen that he has to sleep well. I'm sure he was playing again. Okay, define the following terms. Can I move? Next. Yes. Good. Number one, employee and investor relations. Employee and investor relations. Julian, you better do this. You know, after right after this class, I will let you upload it to the tareas. So I know it's it will be like my signature after each class. So you better do this. That's to all of you. <laughs> okay, maintaining positive relationships with employees. Maintaining positive relationships with employees, shareholders, and others in the financial community. Positive relationship with employees, shareholders, and others in the financial community. Second concept, number two, ready? And others in the financial community. Number two, lobbying. Influencing legislators and government officials To promote or defeat legislation and regulation. Um, now, and regulation. Now, there are so many people doing lobby 
as you know, the like we hear a lot in Spanish, el momento coyuntural that we're living in right now um, is very special and there are many people doing lobby. Lobby, as you know, is trying to influence to move something in the law. This is for the law. I mean, it's not something that you're doing callao, like under the table, like we say. Um, but it, like, it could happen. That is not lobbying. That's corruption. You shouldn't do that. But there are PR agencies that work in this um, so that some things are considered and um, the law or any thing that happens in the city hall, the municipalidades, or in the ministries go for the company or for a specific cause. Um, when we remember last year, we had the seal run that we did outside school. And imagine, how can you close for one hour, two or three hours, a road, like two roads that are super important, like Venezuela and that other that comes from Artigas to the people's nick in El Salvador. So San Salvador. So how can you do that? Well, you do lobby. You contact the people in the city hall. You contact the police. You ask for permission. They give you permission. Then they put support of people that will do like a um, closure and they would clean it afterwards. Like stuff like that are considered and that is to do lobby. Get it? Number three. Product placement. This is one of my favorites, the one that I showed you the video. Product placement. Involves getting. Involves getting one's product, service, or name. Involves getting one's product, service, or name. To appear in a movie TV show radio program magazine newspaper video game video clip book or commercial <laughs> the magazine newspaper video game and you get the idea right um, it is super well used in so many countries and here in Paraguay too that you see that there's a TV show that they're drinking a specific terere. Okay, that is product publicity. It was done by a PR agency. Okay, they move contacts so that they can get your product to be drunk there. Um, it happens in many books that we read too in, in uh, novels and stuff. We see, oh, they were doing blah, 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 or they bought tickets to go to this event. That is um, product placement. Number four, consumer education. occurs when firms invest in educating their consumers. When firms invest in educating their consumers. Some major firms believe that educated consumers are better, more loyal customers. Uh -huh. <laughs> no back. Hey. You can take a picture too when I do this. Product placement, that's it. Take a picture and let's move. Boom. Good. Um, consumer education. I believe that this crisis is making us react the best way possible or it should at least right um there are so many good things that are happening like 
from one day to another. We are adapting technology. That's super great. We should have done that when we were super healthy, right? From one day to another, businesses are educating their consumers. They're changing their speech. They're not being so commercial like buy this, buy this. You gotta buy this. Don't miss a chance. Discount, blah, blah, blah. They're not doing that today. They're, um, many of them, some, are uh, involved in teaching people how to do, like being um, more... They're being more, I don't know how to say this, but more open to what's going on in society. They're listening to their customers. They're putting themselves in the positions or in the shoes of their customers. So these things, consumer education, for example, there are many businesses that are investing in a very good video to educate their consumers uh, regarding to the coronavirus or their processes or what their companies do. Um, and I think that maybe if your families are involved in a, in a specific business, now and tell your mom or dad, now is the time, mom, that you have to promote the business. Now is the time. Okay? Why? Because so many people are consuming online content. We are there all day. And um, literally, if you feel that there's a company that's putting themselves in, their pos in the position of their customers, you will remember them after the crisis. Because when you were super sensitive and open to new content, and many people that have nothing to do, we are super like working and doing this and having classes and stuff. But there are people, and especially when the when the weekend gets here, uh, we will see that people are cooking the things that they never cooked in their life, or like me. They are uh, reading the books that they never got a chance to read. So we are like getting more human, right? And this is very important and businesses are doing it very, very well. Um, consumer education. Number five, sponsorship. Sponsorship. It is to support an issue, cause or event. To support an issue, cause or event. Issue, cause, or event that is consistent with corporate objectives. That is consistent with corporate objectives. Okay. Um, it could be up to there, no problem. Um, as you know, you know what sponsorship is. So if we see only these sponsors, we can guess what type of event. What type of event could you attend to if you have these sponsors that you see there? You tell me, I want to listen. We have GoPro. Red Bull, no, 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 a consulting something, something, and Kia. This is something I always ask to the marketing department in the Deportes y Negocios event. Uh, yeah, good. We have Wake Rally. This is something I always say. Focus and sit in the position of the, of the business and think, if I want to track to young people, then I'm going to go to an event. So think of the businesses that want to attract teenagers. And I say to you last year, think of the people that want or the businesses that want to attract little kids from primary or their parents. So you can guess what happens there. Um, <laughs> crying. Okay, so, but this is it. Good. In this case, you can see that it will be extreme sport any kind, wakeboard, rally, something like that, okay? Number six, cost-related marketing. Just put what is in, in black. Well, everything's in black. How do you say this? Negrita. Bold. <laughs> cost-related marketing. 
cause related marketing. It is the association of the association of a for profit company with a non profit organization. A for profit company with a non profit organization. You see there, the company's product or service is promoted. Which company you can see there? KFC, right? So you can see the company's product is promoted and the money is raised for the nonprofit. In this case, Buckets for the Cure was a campaign for women and cancer. Okay. Um, cost related marketing is always, and this remember, this is a subject for uh, exam. Listen, always. It is a for-profit with a non-profit organization. If I say people of Arma Center now are helping raising um, funds to take to the um, people that live on the streets and they're giving them um, mattresses and pillows and giving them shelter for blah, blah, blah. That is not cost related marketing cost related marketing is for profit with a non profit organization oh my hands are big there but it's a for profit with a non profit organization it's not just giving something for charity it's an alliance between these two get it yes good number 7 press relations Let's do it super fast because I want to show you many things before 11. Press relations. I think I'm shouting here. My husband's going to come at any second. Press relations. Placing positive, newsworthy information. Newsworthy information. In the news media. To attract attention. To attract attention to a product, service, or person to attract attention to a product, service, or person associated with your firm. Um, press relations, we see it all the time. Uh, I studied, you know, when I, I told you I wasn't your teacher at that time, right? When I went to, when I, was it? I don't remember. When I went to live to Spain, when I went to Barcelona to study, uh, my degree, the master's degree I did there was master's degree in public relations. So something that I always remember from my teachers, they would say, newsworthy information, people, newsworthy information. And in Spanish, it was un hecho noticiable. And that's a word we don't listen to in, in Spanish. But it's a, something that is newsworthy. Okay? Not everything is newsworthy. That's why when we organize our events in SEAL 2, um, there are businesses that would share it to a veces, uh, última hora, and they would try to um, spread the word that our organization is launching this event but when we see sorry <laughs> um, but it should be a newsworthy information we should try to reinvent our event 
we should try to do as best as possible to have um, something that is attractive and newsworthy and that people would really share about. Okay? Uh, it happens all the time that we say, no, we're just going to send it to the press and they will publish it. No, they won't publish it. You have to be a news, it has to be a newsworthy information. Um, next one, crisis management. This is something we'll work on. Crisis management. Coordinated effort. A coordinated effort to handle all the effects to handle all the effects of unfavorable publicity to handle all the effects of unfavorable publicity or of an unexpected unfavorable event. Okay. To handle the effects of unfavorable publicity or of an ex unexpected unfavorable event. What is clear here, it should be unfavorable, right? Um, crisis management can be solved in many ways. It depends on the crisis. If you want to take notes of what I'm saying, this could be useful for your life. There are four ways that we can manage a crisis. A crisis of any sort. Um, if something happens in our business, whatever can happen, uh, you, you name it, any crisis that could happen, we can. A. Silence. Say nothing. Play cool say nothing. That is one way to respond to a crisis. Um, silence is a response too. That is one way we can manage a crisis. A second way we can manage a crisis would be um, by uh, saying, denying the event. Okay? Sometimes there are things that happen, a fire happened or uh, whatever, and you deny the event. There are businesses that are experts in this. You can do this. You can deny something, uh, but it should be a little event. I don't, recommend, I don't recommend this. Especially it should be true, right? Number one, it should be true that you have to deny because it's untrue. Um, it's false. But it's important that you don't do this as a habit because if you deny every single time that someone says something about your business, then you're going to appear to be a liar, right? Um, number three, number three, number one was silence. Number two, deny. Number three, it is to like a, do a drift responsibility. It was his fault or her fault. Uh, it was the other business's fault and we're going to solve it. We will see what happens. Okay. Uh, I'm going to ask a question here to see if you're if you are awake. I want to hear Cami Esquivel, you tell me the three ways we can manage a crisis that I just mentioned. Say it there. One, two, three. In one word. Do we have Kami? I don't see you, Kami. I don't know if it's the delay, the little delay that I have for a couple of seconds, but let me see then. Uh, someone that could help. Oh, good. There you go. <laughs> now I read you. Okay, stay silent. Deny it happened, yes, and mm -hmm. good, and send the responsibility to someone else. That is number three. And number four, it is 
to assume the responsibility. Okay? Assume the responsibility. When there, you have to be honest about it, there's sometimes some things that you can be silent to save some time and solve some issues before you say something. That is another strategy too. But the last one, and that people feel more related to the business, is say, yes, I'm sorry for this. We will try to solve this. Okay, that is like, assume the responsibility. That is the last one. So that, that is not in the book. That is something I want to tell you because sometimes you will have to manage a crisis and you can say, my teacher told me a way that we can solve this mom or dad or whatever business you're working in. Okay. And that is it for today. This is, I'm not saying goodbye. I'm just saying this is for today's lesson. Um, after this class, I'm going to upload the link so that at midday you can, um, you can upload your, your lesson. Take a picture and to the cloud, to the Teams cloud. What I want to do right now is... Oh, I didn't show you my slide. What I want to do right now is to... Let's see this. I'm going to open another presentation. And I'm going to show you a case that we're going to develop in Teams. Let me do this. Okay. The... Oh, I hate this. Well, something happened to my... I'll just share it. Doesn't matter. You, you know I'm a little bit perfectionista and uh, I want to do things super, super right and I see that my font wasn't adapted to my presentation. But anyhow, I'll just present it. Oh, that's not it. Uh, wait, that's it. Good. I'm going to present a case for us to work. This, we will do it next class, but I still want to have you here in... in like in class to listen to the guidelines because next class we're just going to start working, okay? Let's imagine this. You are, your group will possibly be selected to work as Pulp's PR agency for year 2021. 2021. So respond to two cases. I will copy right now. I want you to work in the business model group that we had last year for the project and I'm gonna send it right now here oh Renato Giacometti welcome to class it's super late it's 20 minutes we're finishing already good to have you here you're on time to listen to the guidelines, but you didn't copy, so um, good luck for the rest. So here we have. Okay, there will be four groups. Number one, Esquivel and Company. Number two, Acosta and Company. Number three, Llamosa and Company. And number four, Martinez and Company. Okay. I'm sending it to the chat right now so you can know which PR agencies you are. Um, so let me just read the case that you have there in the presentation. I don't know why it's not sending to the chat. Oh, it's too long. There it is. Uh, it's very important that you search the information about your agency, don't do it now. I want you to focus on the presentation that you have in front of you. So your group will possibly be selected to be the PR agency of Pulp. Pulp's general communication strategy relies on the phrase, let's keep doing our thing, or sigamos haciendo lo nuestro. Uh, Pulp considers itself a brand that is ours that is Paraguayan, that is part of our culture, and that is attached to our way of living. 
Um, and it is the only pop soda drink that in Paraguay has pulp. And that makes this soft drink unique. Okay, we know this brand. Do you like it? Do you like the brand? Do you like the idea? It will be a super creative work that you have to do. Okay. Um, so let's move. So now let's imagine that this pandemia has been overcome and that you want to be selected as Pulp's PR agency to celebrate Pulp's 100th anniversary. We're imagining that the world is normal, that we're not in a crisis like we are right now, that the crisis has just passed. So what you have to do is celebrate the 100th year anniversary of the business pool. This is only a supposed and alleged case that I invented. Okay. Um, so you have to do two things. Number one, you got to create a plan for the 100th anniversary, not, not 80, 100th anniversary. And number two, it will be a crisis management case that I will explain later. Number one, so invent a list of creative ideas. Oh my goodness, I had 80th anniversary. I had from another case. Uh, last year I was I, I made a case of 80th anniversary for another people. Uh, the 2019 students. So this is the 100th anniversary under this umbrella idea that is keep doing our thing and present this to the client. We gotta imagine that you are the agency I just mentioned. You know who the members of your team are. So you would be, for example, La R or Periferia or Telma or Wiwi. Oui oui. Okay, these are four agencies that I know. They're very good, hardworking here in Paraguay. You have to investigate about them and you have to be like presenting your idea. You, we will do it in class. Um, and then you will present it in class as if you are part of that agency. This is a real case scenario, like for real. And I'm going to be the client. I'm going to be Pulp and I'm going to choose the best agency. Um, so these should be presented as a proposal to the members of the board. Me. Um, and you should create a PowerPoint presentation with at most 10 slides to represent your idea. Okay. Um, yeah, Sophie, this is last year's team. The one that we did with the business business model project, the Puku. Yes, yes. So pick three PR tools and think about what is the best you could do for pulps da, 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 to gain free media publicity. Okay, your idea is to do something so great. You could organize an event, you could send letters, you can, whatever you want to do. Imagine that the pandemic has just passed. Pulp is turning 100 years old uh, company and we are celebrating like crazy because of everything that happened in our country and Pulp is turning 100 years old. You know that maybe you participated in an event of an anniversary of a business that has turned years old, turned new years, how do you say that? that is their anniversary um, and in that case you have to develop a very very good creative idea for this you can choose between these PR tools and use this for your advantage okay and um, share a PowerPoint presentation with your group to work remotely you may use the internet as an aid assistance or as a source for your team's proposal. Remember to use images or videos to support and sell your idea to Pulp's board, that is, to your teacher. Um, I want to see your best. I know that there are some very super high skilled people that super sell the ideas and that's what we're going to do. You're going to work in them, you're going to develop them in a shared presentation that you can do together and then we're going to have time uh, not the next class, but the future class again, to present this as a little project, a classwork project. Um, don't forget to include in the presentation an introduction of your PR agency, who you are, what is your expertise, as like 
you're gonna see if you search online who is your boss your ceo like i mentioned there in the chat uh you will find out many things about the agency then you have to sell yourselves as an agency uh, you present the proposal abc that will support this huge idea of the anniversary and the phrase the catchy hashtag that Pulp already has and then a closing speech or a closing slide that you know how to do it okay use all your creativity and remember it's 100 years anniversary that is one project one part of the work number two no 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 it's not homework we will do it in class what i hear mrs mrs oh you already made groups for this year oh my goodness so do you wanna use that group then we should we we could sure let me just ask uh yeah Okay, let's do this. Yeah, because you had the... Yes, that will be... I think that the Natalia would be happier for that too. Because we, we had the... Okay, good. Perfect. You continue doing that. So uh, if you would just let me... I'm going to upload to... Um, I'm going to upload to Archivos. So you will have to go to Equipos Marketing Archivos. Equipos Marketing Archivos in the Teams platform, and there you're gonna search for my guidelines and I will divide these same agencies to the members of these, of these groups, okay? I will rearrange the agency with the group members. Don't worry, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. I'll share it there. Um, so that is exercise number one. Do you have any questions regarding to this first part that is, um, the creative things for the anniversary before we get into the crisis management. Any questions? Someone? You are four teams, right? In the, the, the group members of the Batan course. I think you are four. Okay. Any questions? No questions at all? So we can continue, move on to the next topic. Good. Okay. Uh, so let's go to crisis management. This is uh, four temas or four teams. That, let's go to crisis management. I just invented this case again. Pulp, a cause of death. A sad story occurred in Pulp's factory when a health inspection was being carried out. To renew the factor's permission to produce drinks, the city hall's municipalidad representatives and the health ministry representatives visit Pulp's factory. While the authorities were doing a tour throughout the infrastructure of Pulp, Paraguay, an accident occurred when one worker of the factory fell down into a 20,000 20,000 liter tank causing a fatal and instant death with no chance of being saved. This is a very traumatic event to all the public institution representatives that were present and a great shock for all the workers for the loss of the beloved 60-year-old Don Mar Mariano Chano Jimenez who leaves a family of three in San Antonio, Paraguay, and leaves the pulp factory after 18 years of hard work. Okay, This is the case. This is the crisis that we're having. A huge crisis, by the way. Uh, something that could happen in life and in your businesses. It's super sad, but it could happen. I remember that it happened to Shopping Mariscal. Do you remember when they were building the second, uh, their second building? something happened when they were doing the thing and pfft, something fell and I don't know one two or three people passed so super traumatic events how would you manage this so in this case your agency will have to answer but this will you will do it in a word document so you can share on the one side the PowerPoint to share with your team and work remotely and on the other side the word document so it says 
If you were the PR agency in Pulp, what do you think your client or what do you think Pulp's authorities would ask you to do and help with? Okay. You know already what PR agencies do. So what do you think the client, in this case, Pulp authorities, will ask you to do? And number two. All the my font is there, super messy. I'm gonna fix my font so when I upload it to the archivos, you will see it properly. Invent an agenda or a series of events that you would propose to Pulp's authorities to the very next week after the incident with Mr. Chano Jimenez. Okay, that is it. It's just two things. I don't know why there's a three right there. Um, so I want you to create like a sort of agenda of what you are going to do. And consider this last thing. In your efforts to handle this crisis, don't forget all the people involved. All the people involved, there's a technical word for that, and that is called stakeholders. It's not the same as stockholders. It's not accionistas. It's stakeholders. Stakeholders in a marketing world is people that are related to you or your business in any way, okay? In any way you can be related to a business and you will see that people that were related to this case were the government officials, the police department, the institutional authorities that were visiting the factories and the fact that you should soon renew the permission, that is a, a good scenario that you have to consider, Mr. Chano's family, Um, the press that is craving for the latest news, we always have them, like, what's going on, what's going on? They want to be the first one to publish. And the workers in the factory. You may use all the PR tools to manage this crisis. So uh, just consider these two things that the client will ask. One would be, what do you think they will require from you? And number two, position yourself in the shoes of your agency and suggest an agenda or a series of events that you would do considering all these people you get it what do you think about the case give me your opinion i want to read you i want to read you all let me see who are not here in class right now mr i've never seen melo was melo last class I don't remember. I have to see the chat again. Um, Amira, is this clear? Are you understanding what I'm sharing? Yes? Please give me your feedback. I want to hear. Yes, Fatu. It will be hard work. It will be hard work. But I think it's the best way that we can apply what we're uh, understanding. And I want you to feel challenged by this. Um, we're doing classes and I listen that you're saying, ah, it's super boring, I want to be in school. You know you're missing, can you dimension that you're missing school? You're missing school, you're missing your teacher, you're missing class, you're missing sitting, like being seated there. Uh, so that's it from my end. Uh, I wanted to, is that it? Yeah, that's it from my end. Uh, we have five more minutes. Do you have any more questions? Something that you want to clarify? Oh, Melo! Good to see you here. You were present or you're just answering right now because I haven't seen you in the whole class. You didn't say present in the beginning. Okay, okay. Um, so we might leave four minutes early today. I'm gonna upload right the tareas. You were here the whole class. I wanna see your ah in teams. So did you read the chat where I said we're gonna leave? You were there writing or you were there, I mean, were you watching this? Did you participate and did you copy everything? 
I'm gonna expect you to um, upload it in the in the seal in, not in the seal of nine, sorry, in the Teams app. Okay. So if there are no more questions, then I appreciate everything. Uh, before we go, I know we have three minutes, but before we go, please leave in the chat what you learned today. Is there something uh, that you learned? Yes, no, just give me a response so I can know and I can have a feedback from you. Um, and I want to know too if you, what is the best thing that you get from today's lesson? Could be from the beginning, from what we shared in the, in the Teams or what we shared here in class. I want to read and I will be here for just a couple of minutes until uh, time's up. Uh, yes, Amira. It's up to caviar related. Ah, case related. The cost related, cost related marketing. Let me see my presentation. <laughs> caviar related. I was like, hmm, interesting. That's a good super high standards marketing caviar good julian publicity is not advertisement good 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 did you see here in the um, case of pulp i mentioned the publicity word and in the definitions we had them again yeah it was the last one. Oh no we had cause related and then two others press relations and crisis management you check it there uh, product placement. I didn't know it was a way to advertise. I thought it was just there. No, it's a way they advertise. It's crazy. Uh, people pay for that. Any name, if you've seen in Harry Potter, in any book or movie or something, it's something that was used for a, a, a way of advertising, but it's not advertising. Like, buy this. It's not a, a way that you see a normal communication. It's super, super good. How to manage a crisis? I can use it in my life, maybe. Yes, you will use it in your life. If you need any help, and now you know that these businesses work specifically in crisis management. They work specifically in writing a press release or contacting to the press. Something that is very important that is not mentioned there, um, but maybe you wanna, you wanna grasp this for, I see that there are only 13 people already. We had, 15 a couple of minutes ago so this is a, a last recommendation that you can have um, it's very important that you consider the people that are influencers for these activities um, as you will see if you uh, look for information about the PR agencies you will see that many of these um, these businesses these PR agencies work with influencers all the time okay uh something else what is it what business doing a crisis kami uh-huh perfect okay so oh it's 11 o'clock already thank you so much for your time thank you for being here it's my pleasure to interact with you i miss you so much i hope you stay home stay safe and have a very good afternoon and weekend bye 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 bye